Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. During my recent trip to Pacificon, my wife and I stopped by uh, Chameleon Antenna in Sparks, Nevada, uh, to their factory there and took a very nice tour. I did a video about that. They gave me a few products to uh, bring home and take a look at. One of them was this, uh, it's basically a dipole and can be put up as a portable antenna or as something uh, a little bit more permanent. Um, there are all sorts of websites that talk about how to use a bow and arrow or a slingshot or something like that that uh, allows you to put a fish line over a tree and then you can use that to pull up a, a piece of uh, paracord or something like that and uh, pull the antenna up where you want it for use uh, during your portable stay there. So let's take a look at what's inside the box. Not much. The two sides of the dipole. That's the longer one, that's the shorter one. This is sort of like an NFED. This can be used to wind up the wire on this thing, okay? There's a big A there, and uh, you'll see where that goes when we uh, put this in. Looking in the manual, uh, they talk about the parts, which are these parts right here. This is your ballon, okay? And um, the C is the antenna connection. Connection is the wing nut on the left side. Marked A, it's used to connect the antenna wire G to the matching transformer. This is the long piece here, right here, okay? And uh, then this thing right here connects uh, to carabiner. So it connects here, okay? And this wire, which has got a little uh, bracket on it, goes down under here. And this wing nut, finger tight, okay? Goes there, and that's it. Now, you've got the same thing for the counterpoise which is right here on this side. The counterpoise is a shorter piece of wire. I'll just show you how it goes on. We do the same thing through here, okay? And then this goes here. Put it underneath the, uh, underneath the split washer there. And then again, screw that down. This is a critical connection. It's gonna be tight. Um, then this center thing here is where you hang the center of it. It can, it's plenty strong enough to be just hung between the, uh, the wires. And then of course, this is where your uh, coax connects here. And when you're done, you can just wrap like this wire around these and this wire around these, and you've got a nice little uh, portable setup. Let's look at some of the different configurations it talks about in here. Okay, this is a 73-foot antenna. This is like uh, on the ground. And then here's your, your single counterpoise, which um, can be laid on the ground, moved around, if you change the shape of the counterpoise, you will change the tuning on this. There's your coaxial cable, which they do not supply. Now, if you want to, you could have one of these loops somewhere along the wire, holding it up into one tree, and then a piece of it going along this line. It has some suggested dimensions in here. There's nothing magical about those dimensions. Okay, here's another way to do it as an inverted V. This thing can be on the ground. You can go up to where you have your midpoint. It says 
to divide it into halves up about 25 feet. The counterpoise wire, you may not need the counterpoise wire, but you can dry it. Okay. Uh, here's another way you can do it as an in fed dipole. Okay. Um, you've got um, about four and a half feet of antenna wire, which is not very much. You'll have to supply that yourself. Uh, an insulator holding the thing up and then going out like that. I'd um, stretch it out and take the um, pressure off this side over here if you can. But that's a nice end fed dipole where you can feed it with the um, counterpoise hanging straight down. You're going to find, again, that how you move that counterpoise is going to affect everything. This gives you some idea of um, the different patterns, and you can see as you go up in frequency, the patterns get weird. Here's the 50 megahertz pattern. It is very strange. Okay, six meter long wire far field plot, and this does qualify as a long wire for six meters because it's well more than two wavelengths long, and it, it will uh, work pretty well. Okay, so, so we have a very flexible system here that you can use as an NFED dipole and so on. It will take a wide range tuner, so the tuner that is in your radio may not be able to tune it. Uh, MFJ sells a number of tuners. Get one of the inexpensive ones that has an SWR meter and has a, uh, the three knobs for tuning it. And that will do you just fine because uh, those things can handle a very significant mismatch. Um, then you have something that's not very big that you can take on a trip. This is not a mobile antenna. This would not be a good um, parks on the air sort of thing like that because it takes a while to set up. Um, but it could, it could if you wanted to. Everybody has their favorite antenna for every activity that they do. So there you have it. If you would like to help support this channel, and I encourage you to do so, so we can continue to bring you these daily videos and also go to events like uh, Pacificon and coming up is Dayton uh, and events like that and bring you the news of the latest and greatest. Um, please do um, go to dcastler.com slash support. Look for a way that works for you. Now, I do want to mention in passing, and this needs to be on all the videos that I do for this, that um, a chameleon gave me these antennas to uh, take a look at. Okay, so I did not spend any money on these, and they may end up being future giveaways. So we'll see. These are nice antennas. The quality of construction is outstanding. It's, it's like a tank. And part of that may be because Chameleon is trying to do a bunch of business with the military. So there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.